So hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 6455463728. And I wondered when we might see another Trump ascend to the throne and take his rightful place at in the White House. So uh we're currently still in uh the first Trumps, Donald Trumps, Donald Trump. Uh, his family changed their name. He's still in the White House. Um, but we do know that people love a good dynasty. Or they love to root for that familiar name that they've heard before. All we have to do is take a look at the Kennedys. We can take a look at the Bushes. And even the Clintons. You know, I don't know if Chelsea Clinton might look to run. But uh, who's the next Trump that we might see running for the presidency and eventually sitting in the White House? So as far as I know, there's Donald Trump Jr. There is Ivanka Trump. There is Eric. And there is youngest Baron Trump. So it seems to me that the most likely next person to try to ascend to the throne. And, you know, Donald Trump might get reelected. It seems unlikely at this point, but it might happen. You know, um, if you look at House of Cards, whether it's the British one or the one here, you would have thought, I mean, I was amazed by House of Cards. But uh, there are some really interesting things that happen behind the scenes in politics, so you never know. He might um, have a second term anyway. We certainly didn't think he was going to have a first one, right? And once he got the taste for power, once he actually thought that he could win, and he's been the president, I'm sure he will be um, continuing to push his son and um, eventually when he's no longer on the scene, um, the media themselves will go looking for more excitement. All you have to do is look at Michael Jackson and how the media has begun to focus on his kids. Um, I'm sure there are many other examples. As soon as the older one dies, you know, the spotlight falls on what we have left to draw a headline. So... Eric Trump, I mean, Donald Trump Jr., seems to be the heir apparent. Um, of course, as I mentioned, um, Eric Trump, but he doesn't have the entire name. So that might not really work out as well. Like we've seen with the Bushes, um, it helps to have a very close name to your father. Um, that way, it's a lot easier for people to just see you as the next one in line. I mean, it didn't really seem to work for the other Bush who was not um, George. So yeah, it probably helps to have the exact name as your father. Um, with respect to Ivanka, as we would have seen um, when it came to women's rights and Donald Trump and his son were asked about, you know, what would they think of if Ivanka Trump was sexually harassed? Um, they thought that, you know, she should move to another company. You know, she should just take it in stride and, and move on. So I don't think that they're really going to support her too much. And really, um, the world hates, hates women. It hates people who don't have power. Um, as I would have mentioned in a prior video, um, the year that Hillary Clinton failed to uh, win the presidency was also a year in which the South Korean female prime minister or president, she was um, convicted of corruption. And you say, well, hey, that's not a big deal. Well, the Brazilian 
female uh, leader was also convicted of corruption that year as well, or close to there. And you say, well, that's kind of fishy, but, uh, well, the Argentinian um, former leader was threatened with uh, jail time for corruption. So now is it that women are, are, are really that corrupt? Well, um, after that, through Theresa May, the English trans, uh, Prime Minister, um, she could not drum up support for her plan for Brexit. And surprise, surprise, the very next Prime Minister to come into power after her was able to get all the support that she couldn't get to do exactly the same thing that she could, couldn't get done. So, yeah, the world. And you might say, well, look at Merkel. I think Merkel has found whatever the key is. And Thatcher definitely found whatever the key is. I heard that she reportedly um, took classes to make her voice sound deeper and uh, more like a man's. So whatever the key, the secret to being a successful female leader is, um, Merkel and Thatcher, they know it. And anybody trying to come up, uh, they probably need to follow those two people. And it usually does not involve um, looking or acting too feminine. So I don't really th see much hope for Ivanka. In addition to that, um, Baron. Well, there's a lot of time for Baron to ascend to the throne. Um, I think Eric has had a lot of experience, I mean, sorry, Donald Trump Jr. has had a lot of experience with his father on their show, The Apprentice. He's had a lot of time um, following in his father's footsteps, uh, posting stuff to Twitter as well, uh, doing the same kind of stuff that his father has done. So it could be the very next election, he might be making a show of it because he's seen, you know, that this route works and he has a very recognizable name. So he may be trying next. Um, what are we in? 2020? 2024? Might be uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s first attempt at the presidency. Um, yeah, it's unlikely, if his father is still in power, it's unlikely that he will get in because it seems to be quite rare for, um, you know, after an eight term, two consecutive terms of Republican leadership, that you get another Republican, which is what was working against Hillary. So there's that seeing as Barack Obama had had two terms, um, that was working against Hillary. Um, one of the things, yes, Donald Trump won by a very, very slim margin. Um, they say 70,000 votes in all. Um, and he didn't win the overall vote, as they say, the popular vote. But um, it usually um, doesn't work like that. So if Biden does win, it probably bodes well for Donald Trump Jr., especially if in the interim his father passes away and there's more of a spotlight shining on him. And as I mentioned, Barron is a potential candidate, um, but we have not heard him speak and we haven't, he seems to be maybe close to his mom. He's grown up um, really tall, last I saw almost as maybe as taller than his mother maybe it's tall as or maybe taller than his father um i didn't i saw the picture with him having sprung up um but we have not seen him you know speak and uh i think that you know i, I don't recall having heard any um former president's kids speaking or seen them, but the ones that I seem to remember are the Clinton's kid, a girl. Um, I would not have expected too much um, in the way of um, uh, spotlight 
from them. Of course, there's the Obama's kids. Um, I don't recall if Bush had any kids that I would have seen. But, um, yeah. At the same time, though, I, I, I don't see it for Barron. Um, people have said that he might be a special kid, might be have special characteristics. Um, but as of yet, there's nothing that shows us that that might be his path in life. And of course, unfortunately, his name is Barron, which is not uh, Donald Trump Jr. So uh, there's that. It's not going to help him as much as it would, let's say, Donald Trump Jr. And of course, um, we really can't completely discount Eric. Um, as we've seen, the other Bush brother, can't remember his name, he did make a run for the presidency, and he was a favorite, if not for Donald Trump. Donald Trump was a surprise um, candidate, you know, uh, obviously because of his prior fame, um, the media gave him so much free attention that it just completely messed with everything that was going on. But I would say that Donald Trump Jr. has the best shot, probably in the next election or the one after that. Yeah, Donald Trump Jr. probably has the best shot. And subsequent to however long his term is, if he gets in there, um, Eric Trump is probably looking to come up and probably has a good shot after that because people love the names that they're familiar with. So anyway, guys, you can wish me luck. You can like or unlike, comment, and uh, yeah, subscribe or share if you feel like it as well. And of course, you can do nothing. Peace.